What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Am Toys video. Today, man, we are live at Toy Lanta for this Toy Lanta 2024 show, man. I have no idea what the hell to expect, but we're gonna go in here and find out what the hell they got. But it's at this gigantic hotel. I think it's just in the lobby or at the bottom floor. So we're gonna go in here, adventure man. Join me as we adventure in and see if we can find some damn wrestling figures for the collection. All right, guys, look, we found this booth that does have wrestling figures here. And look at this steel right here that I wanna take a look at. This guy's gonna, what's your name again? Frank. Frank is, he found the ultimate rock. This is the first Amazon exclusive rock. 15 with the Attitude Era shirt. That's a damn good deal right there. And then there's the Attitude Elite with the Ultimate Edition shirt on there for 10. That's a damn good steal right there. So huge shot at the Frank for spotting those. He got over here before me, so he's got fair game on that. We got the Elite 69 Collector's Edition. You have Ultimate Warrior. You got some UFC back here. A lot of loose figures. AJ Styles. We have Darby Allen, Ric Flair. We got an Elite Taker. A lot of stuff right here is kind of hard to piddle through, but they have a decent little selection right here. Elite 63 Kane for 10 bucks. You have Elite 63 Dusty. You got Orange Cassidy back there, AJ Styles. We have Goldberg. We got Orange Cassidy back here, like I stated. Not a ton of wrestling around here, but uh, I mean, Degum, they have a lot of rock figures and a lot of AJ Styles. But yeah, I mean, they have some cool pieces, I would say, you know, for some good prices too. I don't know. I don't know what that figure goes for, but finding 15 for that. And then looks like there's a custom shirt on this AJ Styles right here. I might have to purchase this razor because I'm actually missing this in my collection, the blue. Dude, that jacket's so sick. The Legends Elite, missing that out of the collection, so I'll probably definitely cop that one. Um, then we have some different figures back here. Kind of hard to see back there. May have to cut it, but yeah. Finally finding some wrestling's cool, but there we go. All right, man, just made the first purchase. That was a hellacious deal we just got right there. 35 bucks for that bag of stuff. We'll show off later. What are you thinking? Pretty good. A lot of good shit. Not a lot of uh, wrestling stuff, man, but we're still venturing around seeing if we can find some stuff, man. So we're on the hunt. Got to just keep looking around. Very overwhelming with the amount of stuff. It's just I don't know how much is stuff that I would want or need at this time, but certainly some cool pieces. All right, man, it ain't modern, but we do have some cool pieces in here, man. Really cool pieces. It's, I'm always flabbergasted by how much some people have. Look at the Rocky ring up there, man. Just a, a nice display right here, man. Maybe one day we'll get a Mattel. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Got Captain Lou back here. Very awesome. Got Big Hulk. Got a ring set up here. And we have Roddy Piper on this side. So pretty cool stuff, man. King Kong Bundy in here. Very, very cool. You got Jake back there. Look, he's even got his bag. Hillbilly Jim flat on the mat. Hate to see it. But we got the animated Batman or Batmobile there. But... I mean, not just a ton of modern wrestling figures, but we're trying. We're trying to find some stuff. But it's still cool to see, you know, some things you don't collect every day anyway. But we're continuing on the hunt. All right, man, we're looking over here at this booth. Look at this sick-ass Zerg. I'm absolutely getting that for my son. We're definitely getting that Zerg. 15, it's massive, too. We got this little Dragonite over here. Very just uh, nostalgic. I mean, this is uh, very beautiful to see. We also got some small soldiers over here, man. A little more of a legend spider-man right here yeah probably gonna snag that too taylor look what we found look how they massacred my boy <laughs> all right guys check this out right here pokemon cereal box man that is so nostalgic and then we do have some plushes over here but then we have the Mr. T head bank, I think. That's a head bank. It may just be a little statue, but it's still sick as hell nonetheless. That's some Mario stuff, lunch boxes. Dude, that, that Pokemon cereal is insane. And we found a little bit of flashback wrestling over here, man. We do have some bone crunchers. We got Shawn Michaels. We have Jesse James Road Dog back there. It's hard to make out. We have a McCain back there, which looks good. I did. I remember having that. I think it got buried in our basement or something. <laughs> We have Jeff Martin. Jarrett back here. We got Masters of the WWE Universe unpunched, so that's cool. What we got back here? Stephanie McMahon. God, that packaging's light. Jesus in heaven across the Jesus. And we do have just a bunch of dudes. It's just crazy overwhelming in here and all the stuff, man. But it's very tough to find modern stuff. We do have Masters of the WWE Universe Goldberg, Stephanie again. And then over here we do have some two packs. Now this one's sick because it actually has the ski mask in there right there for Bossman, which I like. But we have Austin and Bossman. Very minty packaging as well in this SummerSlam 99 card. Um, we also have Val Venus and Billy Gunn as I drop it on the floor like a moron. 
they're liable to beat me up. And this giant Punisher right here. Pretty sick. And then they have this Creative Superstars Bray Wyatt pack right there. That was a guess or those were on retail shelves. Now they're not. Rest in peace to the legend. But these were pretty cool, you know. They're not the greatest, but they kind of got us started into that main event. Actually, that torso looks better than the damn Elite at the time now that it hits me. But uh, pretty cool. It came with a lot of accessories and stuff, but definitely not going to be purchasing it here today. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to. I'm, I'm chiming in every time I find some WWE, man. If I see anything like that, I'm trying to chime in. Giant toilet. We will get Babe Ruth. Oh, is his eyes closed or are they just not painted? They're just not painted. He's cool. Is he wearing tap dancing shoes? No, that's a stirrup. Oh man, we hit the mother load right here, fellas. Elite Top Picks Rey Mysterio, which is a beautiful figure, by the way. I don't know why this figure didn't do well. A lot of the Rey Mysterios don't do well. The Macho Man Elite is like $5. You can get this one for very cheap. It's very insane, but we also have some superstars. These are hitting up Ollie's, though, so we are just taking L after L right now, but they do have Undertaker. I don't have the Undertaker, but I don't know if I want to buy that. Even though it's below retail price, I don't know, man. Hopefully, I can find those at Ollie's. Unpunched Ric Flair, and then we have Ultimate Warrior back there, but God heaven, man. I feel like I have just let you down. I feel like I'm struggling. I'm on the struggle bus right now, Brad, and the struggle bus is almost out of gas. All right, man, I saw a few wrestling elites in here. I think I saw Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, there you go. Found a Shinsuke in here, so that's kind of cool. I don't know. I might I might would buy that for the right price, I guess, but I don't know what you know what the prices are on everything. It may be a $10 bin or something like that. I don't know if it's worth 10 bucks. Might have to do some research, but um, I don't think I see anything. Oh, okay, we, maybe we have something down here. We have another, oh, Elite 75 Rollins. Hell yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, so we maybe we might find some stuff right here, man. Let's just get everything out and then we will uh, we'll come back to it and see exactly what it costs. But you know, just any loose elites are always fun for me. You know, get some extra parts, get some extra head sculpts, maybe some other cool accessories that may be in here. But I mean, ten bucks can't really beat it for a flat elite. But if I find something else, I'll update you. And look at this. We have the Hollywood elite Andre right here. Look at this. Never seen this in person before. What do you think? I pulled the trigger by it. Dude, this is sick. I've never seen this in person. Missing it from the collection. That's about that's about going right right now. Maybe a little cheaper, maybe a little bit over, but the Andre the Giant is Bigfoot, six million dollar man. I don't have yeah. the Roman either. I wish I wish I could find the Roman. I only have the rock and I only have the repeat rock. This wave never really hit retail stores around me, but this is a very sick figure. Missing it from the collection. Don't know if I should pull the trigger on it, but I am very tempted because I have never seen this in person. So I remember when they revealed this at 2019 Comic-Con or something. Maybe it was 2020 or something like that. And I remember freaking out. So this would be a cool piece, but I don't know. We're on the fence here, but I had to show it off on camera. It's a beautiful piece, beautiful piece. All right, guys, check this rock figure out right here, man. Look at this. That is so awesome. He's got dual pistols. Cody Rhodes ain't gonna know what to do if he breaks this out at Mania, Brad. That's pretty awesome. For three bucks, I might, I might cop that. It doesn't have the Brahma Bull on there for obvious reasons, but that may be a knockoff. I'm not sure. I don't ever remember this figure really releasing, but the pistols is great, and I think that's a hilarious figure. That might be the best 12-inch figure in that style I've ever seen, but I also looked through some of these accessories. You might could find some really cool stuff here to pair with your figures. It's just a lot of it's one six scale, but like this tent here, but I had to showcase this rock figure. And here we have a little bit of wrestling right here. Nice Sting figure. Some Kevin Nash DDP, nice little buff bag well in here. Pretty cool selection right there. Is that Rey Mysterio? Looks pretty good. We got a warrior. Got some guys back here. Jimmy Snuka. We even have a nice Hulk Hogan lunchbox up here. But yeah, man, pretty sporadic. I don't know. I think we're coming up on the end here, man. I don't see a whole lot. Brad, what do you think? Frankenstein. Oh, dude, that's actually sick. Necklace remake. Got beetle, look, a Beetlejuice right there. Pretty cool. Like, there's just so many little knickknacks and little things that you don't see every day, which makes it awesome. But not a whole lot that I collect personally, so that's what makes it tough. But you still see a, like a ton of stuff that you just don't see every day. And so that's what makes it awesome. Look at this SpongeBob right here. Love to see it. But, yep, I think that pretty much wraps it up. You guys know the theme of the show right here, man. Really cool to see this stuff, though, in its original packaging. You know, it's just so awesome. You know, you get to step into a time, time capsule of sorts and maybe, you know, one day in the future we'll look back on our stuff or the more modern things and look at it the same exact way, but it's still always such a cool trip. I don't even see Jax here, really. I haven't even really seen Jax figures. I've seen Bones Crunchers, but nothing like, no Titantron Live, no Deluxe Aggression, nothing like that. So, yeah, man. 
All right, man, after the show here in the parking lot on Brad's on Brad's car here, well, we have our hauls here, and I'm going to showcase everything that we got in the hall here. First of all, I did buy my son this gigantic Zerg right here. So here's this gigantic Zerg. My son already has a Zerg, but it's way smaller than this, and it didn't come with the cannon. So he has his cannon here, and I do believe that he talks, but he said the batteries are like, they're, you know, the lights don't work or something like that. I'll fix it. Well, we'll fix him up. We'll put him on surgery, Brad. He'll take up the whole thing. He's massive, so I know he'll be excited about that. So we did buy the Zerg figure, but then as far as wrestling action figures that we got in this hall, man, we did grab, I think it was pretty successful. Brad, you can tell me what you think. We did get the Elite 75 Seth Rollins. I think this was $10. $10 yeah. flat, something like that. So we did get $10 flat on the Elite 75 Seth Rollins. We also grabbed an Elite, I think it's 81 Shinsuke Nakamura in the blue right here. I think I did something with mine, turned into a custom or something. So I'm happy to, you know, revive this figure, put it back in the collection. $10 on both of those flat. Not the, you know, not going to shatter the universe or anything like that. But for $10 for parts and things of that nature, always down to secure some figures here. And then we also picked up a hole in the collection man we got the legends razor ramon in the blue love this jacket by the way saw this many times at retail over the years never purchased it but now i can finally add i think this and the ultimate edition razor and then the ringside exclusive scott hall in the nwo black and white i think those are the only scott hall slash razor ramones i'm missing now so i'm happy to add this one to the collection we also have the elite what is it 66 aj styles i think it is for five bucks five dollars flat just right there in person yeah i'm gonna go ahead and grab that got plenty of parts interchangeable hands different things going on there for the aj styles we also have this unique wrestlemania 27 elite i think it is but he did put an ultimate edition head sculpt on it so i went ahead and purchased it i think this was also 10 bucks man so anything that i could get for ten dollars for an elite with a shirt and an ultimate edition head sculpt we can revive this on surgery make him back to the factory figure that came out of the packaging so we're definitely going to be doing that and then i think i have is this the last figure i think this is the last figure we have the legends ultimate warrior here another guy in a suit i don't think i'll be keeping this as ultimate warrior probably turn it into i don't know I, we'll, we'll see about that we'll see about that on surgery don't blow away your damn bag we do have ultimate warrior here the legends elite in the suit which is another great snag so i think that is pretty much it. You know, kind of low-key disappointing. I did not really find much. This is about all I could find here. There were other deals to be made, but we are going to go to another store after this, which is going to be another toy hunt on the channel, so you guys can look forward to that. But I thought it was a pretty solid haul, pretty cool to take a trip down memory lane. And again, we didn't, you know, shatter the universe with any of our finds, but to find some good figure, I think I paid maybe for all six of these elites maybe like 55 bucks 60 bucks something like that for all of these together so i think that's pretty good i think you know filling holes in the collection for fix-ups and things never had that rock before can fix that up can fix that up never had that figure before needed to restore that figure and then uh, i only have one of this so having an extra set there is great for the price and then we did get Zerg there. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the toy hunt, even though it's kind of lackluster. I don't know. Kind of disappointed in it. But you guys can let me know what you think, man. I'm getting out of here. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all you fellas over there, man. You guys, you guys are absolute goats. But I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. And I'll catch you later.